Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a mainboard review. So Big Tree Techs kindly sent this out to me to review. This is their SKR3 and I've been using it on my Rook 3D printer for a little while. And I wanted to do a quick overview and um, review on my thoughts and that type of thing with this. So I do really like the form factor of this board makes a lot of sense to me. As you can see, it fits really nicely in a small form factor printer like the Rook. So it's perfect for that. This is um, the replacement for the older SKR 1.4 boards and that type of thing. I'm assuming I like the 1.3 and those type of boards. So this does replace the SKR 1.4. I've been told that by Big Tree Tech. Um, I like it has three fan ports. That's a pretty decent amount of fan ports, controllable fan ports for a uh, board of this form factor. Just pretty neat. This does support a PT-1000 thermistor out of the box. It has a jumper so that you can use PT-1000s. So there might be some people out there that really like that. This does have uh, something a little bit interesting. It has a little button here so that you can turn this USB port into a CAN bus port. So if you push that little uh, button in there, this now becomes a USB CAN bus um, connection. So you could run a CAN bus tool head on this now. I'm assuming you would now need to communicate to this via Clipper with UART because you cannot use this for USB anymore, obviously. So you would connect to this via UART or you can just unpress this button and use it as regular USB. Um, probably my biggest complaint about this board is, um, why is it using USB-B type B? This, this needs to go away. There's no reason in 2022, 2023 to be using USB-B. All main boards should be USB-C across the board. Um, I, I don't understand why it's USB type B. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Just all board manufacturers, USB-C across the board. There's no reason for that. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of that. This is a, obviously, it's a much faster board than the SCAR 1.4. Uh, this is 480 megahertz. It's a 32-bit board. Um, not a lot of that matters with Clipper because Clipper doesn't care about the processor on board. Um, but if you were running Marlin or something like that, that's nice to know. They do actually have some pretty decent documentation for this board as well. So I have been looking through the uh, documentation for the SKR3. They've got a decent clipper guide on there, how to compile firmware for this board using clipper, and also a decent Marlin write-up if you're wanting to put Marlin on this board. What's kind of neat about this board is it does actually have a um, Wi-Fi socket here. You can see the red and black uh, terminals there so that you can actually attach a ESP32, a Big Tree Tech USP32 Wi-Fi module there, which is really nice. So what's neat about this is you can actually run RepRap firmware on this board now. And I did load RepRap firmware on here and it did work just fine. The Wi-Fi worked great. Um, this is an inexpensive module to add onto here so that you can use um, RepRap firmware. So if you don't have a single board computer or anything else to run Clipper and you wanna try out RepRap firmware, this is a really great board for that. So you can just buy this separately. This is a separate add-on, this ESP32. And you can compile a uh, RepRap firmware and put it on the board. So um, that I think is pretty neat. Uh, this also has your um, expansion module one and two. So this should also work with a lot of Marlin style LCDs. Um, so good, very good for Ender compatibility um, and all that kind of stuff. But it's nice that it does have the expansion boards. They're used for all sorts of different things as well. So that's really nice. It's got your typical modern ports, like it has RGB, so you can have RGB lights on this board. It has dedicated um, BL Touch, like a servo probe port on here. It actually has another CAN bus uh, header here as well. So 
Very, very nice layout. I know there's definitely people who like having the steppers uh, user replaceable. If one of these burnt out, you can just simply take the stepper out, pop in a new one, and you're not gonna kill the board. So again, form factor is really awesome. It fits very well on small printers. Uh, my other favorite board is uh, usually I use these mini uh, E3 V3 boards, uh, but you can see here the steppers are all on the board. If one of these steppers burns out, you either have to find someone who can do um, the crazy soldering for this, or you would have to replace the board. So it's nice having user re user replaceable steppers, and it is nice this is a five stepper board. So you do have a little bit more control as far as how many steppers you control with this board. So yeah, overall, it's a really nice compact board. I liked it very much on the Rook. It was really neat to try out RepRap firmware. Um, I switched it over to Clipper and I was running this board on Clipper, so that's really nice. Like I say, the only thing that I don't like is the USB. Um, it should just be USB-C. And uh, it is really nice to note too that this does actually have two hot end ports here, which is really nice. Not only just for two hot end, hot ends, but you can actually run fans off of one of these hot ends as well. So if you have some high powered fans, such as this large, 120 millimeter blower fan that I have up here. If you had two of these or very high um, wattage fans, you could run those off of one of the extruder outs as a fan. I've done that on my Fisac Spider boards and other boards like that. So it's really nice to have that extra port so that you can run other things from it. So yeah, that's kind of a quick overview wrap up here on the SKR3. I just wanted to show it off. I've been using it on my um, Rook for quite some time. Again, big thanks to uh, Big Tree Tech for sending me out this uh, board for review. It's definitely came in handy when I was building this second version of the Rook. So again, everyone, um, there'll be more videos on the Rook and I have some live streams and stuff coming up. There's gonna be some cool stuff coming on the channel. So definitely like, share and subscribe. Thanks everyone.